Okay, Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist, New South Wales, Australia. Thank you for joining me. Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia, actually. We're going to do a response video, guys, from TikTok. Bear with me for a minute. A lot of these women today are having trouble with men who are just using them as a convenience. They get into good relationships and then take them for granted, only to realize that good men are hard to find. That's just a proven fact. Here's a situation from something that's happened. Hey, some my friend Frank just left She went up to this guy last Saturday. She had a very nice time. She said very nice things to her. At the end of the night, she managed to say she stopped all the cake and said very nice time and left each other soon. Well, that's not uncommon, is it? You meet a chick, you take her out, everyone's got running limerence, everybody's trying really hard. She's got nice eyeshadow, hasn't she? Um, and limerence will push you along to a point. Now, this is interesting. Watch what happens. She said, yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. She said, yeah, 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 definitely. Do you want to see each other this weekend? It applies to things good, it's being busy. might be able to do this again, but we don't want to make this fast. So what happens is these people get um, pumped and dumped. They want to follow these men up. They want to try and have a relationship with these guys. Um, but the guys aren't interested in them. They're probably... Some guys just don't care about women, and that suits some women, but others that don't. And what happens is a lot of these people just end up in the forest, in limbo, being damaged, shamed, being abused, sexually abused, used, kicked to the curb. I said absolutely, absolutely not, because for, for me, the key, key thing, thing is, when somebody says they should take each other soon, right, right after, after that first day, done. done. That's, That's a clear, clear sign. sign. You're not, not going to see them again. And I fully agree with that. Any women that muck me around, you get two chances, and that's it. Other than that, maybe even one, depending on what the situation is. It's a circus out there. It, there is no principle whatsoever. There's predators everywhere, female and male. Um, when I did try the dating sites, uh, I met two women, I married one, I had a two-year relationship with the other one. There were some, there's five or six or seven in between. Five of those seven were in bed within an hour. Five of those seven were in the bedroom within an hour. The other two I didn't really like. It's it's really unhealthy out there, guys. I don't know what we're going to do, how we're going to deal with it. But this is the other side of it where these women, it doesn't matter how good you look, what you like in the bedroom, how much money you got, talking about the women, how well you present yourself and all this sort of stuff, there are no guarantees out there. I've let women come into my life and set them up with, you know, a pretty good situation to be in. <clears throat> they've let their children ruin it, they've held me at, um, in situations where my tolerance has just been pushed to the point where I couldn't stand it anymore, and these people have really no clue of what the damage that is being done in so many different ways. It's destructive. It is really destructive. If you can't see your friends on a Thursday night, you say to them, I can't do tonight, but let's do next week. Let's do Saturday. Let's do Sunday. 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 Let's do Sunday.
um, the value of having someone that you can see. Um, I've had them turn up pissed, stoned, and then wonder why things aren't working out for them or us. You've got to present. Just look how well presented that woman is. My goodness. Um, but these days, you know, once they hit 30, 40, 50, they're pretty well ingrained into them the way that they're going to go. And really, guys, um, I just don't know what to say. How bad it is. How negligent it is. And how predatorial it is out there. This is Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist, New South Wales, Australia. Thank you for joining me. And bye for now.